Minister of Works and Housing, Senator David Umai, has issued a stern warning of contract termination to contractors involved in road construction projects nationwide. The minister said contractors who fail to adhere to project timelines and deliverables will have their contracts revoked. Senator Omai, in a meeting in Abuja with the contractors, emphasized government's commitment to supporting local contractors, insisting that any contractor failing to meet deadlines would face contract termination. He urged contractors to invest in essential equipment to expedite project completion, reiterating the importance of collaboration between contractors and the government to overcome obstacles. We have a new situation. We cannot continue to do things the way we've been doing it. Whether we're doing it nicely or badly, we have to adopt a new policy to match with this situation. Mr. President had graciously approved review of our projects and our projects unit prices were offered to the contractors, not contractors offering us, they, we, we offered to them. And we offered to you based on the approvals we had gotten on similar projects by BPP and by uh, FEC. And so one thing that we that is our policy is that no contractor in Ministry of Works will be treated differently. Whether you are an indigenous contractor or you are a foreign contractor, so far you can turn cement to the right grade and place it rightly. You are a good contractor, we check it and it's good. And that is what is saving us. On a positive note, the minister revealed that approximately 80% of the projects inherited by his administration have been completed and are ready for inauguration. We are very much committed into innovative ways of thinking and doing things differently. We've really achieved a lot. We had 330 projects that Mr. President approved on an emergency basis, totally over 260 billion. As of today, we have completed over 80% of such projects. And so if we are to ask Mr. President to come over to commission them, nothing else will be done. And I think that a cumulative project of over 260 billion is quite a milestone achievement for this ministry and for Mr. President.